Hey Libra, it's me Stormy and here is your horoscope for July 2018 and what a busy month it is. We have got tons of retrogrades. We've got our biggest benefic planet Jupiter coming direct. We've also got some eclipse energy happening. So just lots going on, lots to break down for you. So first and foremost, I want to tell you that you are our sign of partnerships. Now, this doesn't always mean romance. This means partnerships. It could be a business, a friendship, um, you even with a divine energy, you feeling like you know yourself or a romantic relationship. And I am telling you, I really feel like this month with Mars being retrograde, Mercury taking a retrograde, Chiron taking a retrograde in Aries, which is directly hitting your seventh house. I really feel like some of this is kicking you back and you're really having to review, re-edit, revise a lot of things, and some of them have a lot to do with partnerships. Not to mention we have Venus who's beautiful and diplomatic and wants to bring harmony, moving into Virgo, but this lights up the 12th house space for you. So there could be some things that are hidden or need to end, and they could have to do with partnerships this month. So you could actually be taking an adjustment to partnerships this month, Libra, or putting a few of them down. Now, on the hi-ho cheerio, oops, stream of all of this. We've got a solar eclipse coming in the sign of cancer, which is so beautiful for your career. As a matter of fact, you could actually see your career being at a little bit of a turning point, especially if you've been at a crossroads or you've been trying to make something happen. Um, the solar eclipse could actually be very, very helpful for you. So let's just jump in here and we're going to break this all down by date so I can get you into the information and out enjoying July. Okay. So right here at the beginning of the month on the 5th, we've got Chiron, who's our wounded healer, and he is taking his retrograde here in the sign of Aries. So this is rocking the seventh house space for you, okay? Now, whenever Chiron goes retrograde, first of all, it is a retrograde. So we're going to re, we're going to look back. Now, one of the things that's happening when Chiron is transiting in Aries is we are fighting for our identities, Libra. And tell me if you haven't felt like you've been doing that. You've maybe finished, completed some things your life now you're at this next stage and it's like okay well who am i how do i do this how does this woman how does this man how does this person um do life next right whatever it is you've been fighting for your identity and some of this could have been in relationships right so now as chiron is retrograde one of the things i would ask you to question yourself is what limiting beliefs do you currently have and they're not like a tiny limiting belief what big old limiting belief do you have about partnerships do you believe oh my god nobody would ever want to work with my business because i'm blah 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 that's a form of partnership right um, is there something you feel like is going on inside of your relationship, right? Are you being challenged with intimacy? So you have to grow, but maybe you have this limiting belief about how to do that, right? During this Chiron retrograde, you're going to do some shedding, putting some things down, but first you're going to have to see it and it will walk straight smack up to your face about who you think you are versus who you need to be to get the job done in this next phase of your development, okay? So just kind of keep that in mind that that's what that energy is a lot about. Now, when we get to the ninth, oh my goodness, Venus moves into Virgo. Now, this is not Venus's comfortable position, okay? In Virgo, she's too nitpicky. So this can be a little bit of a harder energy, but it is in your 12th house space. And if Virgo is nothing, it is meticulous with details and analytical. So I'm telling you here in the 12th house space, if you have been feeling like whether you're in a committed um, romantic partnership, uh, a business partnership, whatever it is, even if you're single, but you've kind of been seeing someone, if you have been feeling like something's been going on, there's a secret, you can't quite put your finger on it, something's off, you're just not sure what it is. Venus here in the 12th house in this Virgo energy, I think is phenomenal for helping you rise any secrets, any any of that kind of stuff to the surface. Now, at the same time, while these things could be rising to the surface, I think it's great where you could be shedding them. You could be having some kind of clarity, some kind of spiritual awakening, some kind of epiphany, you know, and however you do that, maybe you're working with your healer or you're working with, um, 
something shamanistic, whatever you're doing, could even be doing something creative, and you're just kind of talking it out and releasing some things. Now, if you're a student, Libra, this is a phenomenal energy for getting research done, deep research, things that are hidden. You could really be digging things out from underneath these little rocks, right? And you're just getting all of your information. So this is a beautiful energy there. I will tell you my last thought on this, especially because we have so much retrograde energy that is changing the direction of energy all month long. This is a fair energy, right? So whether it's you in the affair, someone else in the affair, there is a hidden person or a hidden enemy that could be impacting your life. So you want to pay attention to those things as well. Now, because they're hidden, you're not going to be able to go out there and just magnify and glass them to death, but you could find out something. You've been feeling like something's off and you could find out that maybe there's a little bit more information that you weren't exactly um, in tune with, okay? Now, when we get to the 10th of July, which month are we in? We're in July. We've got Jupiter, who's our biggest benefic planet, coming direct. Now, he's been asleep for some time. He's coming direct in the sign of Scorpio. I actually love this for you because this speaks very well to income for you. Maybe a new way to make money. Um, because here's the thing, when Jupiter was retrograde, he's still so generous, he's giving out benefits, right? He's still helping you, bringing opportunities, bringing wisdom, but as he comes direct here, it's like all of these things were held up here and just kind of trickling on you, and now it's like, whoa, make it rain, you know what I mean? So Jupiter can start to actually deliver the blessings that are here. One of the other things I think that maybe has happened, especially with all this fight for your identity, um, energy that you've been working on, I feel like you see another talent or a talent that you've been developing, you see how you can use it now to benefit your financial income, your self-esteem. This is the house of self-esteem and value. I think that it starts to expand a lot more because Jupiter doesn't want you to just expand so that you have a big head. He wants you to expand out in the world so you can do something with the talents and the resources that you've been given. So this is a wonderful energy for that. And then we get to the 12th and we've got this partial, this new moon partial solar eclipse happening at 20 degrees of cancer and this lights up your 10th house so what a beautiful set of energies to be working with right because the solar eclipse is still our new moon for the month, Libra, plant those seeds of intention, right? What beginnings do you want to happen here? Over the next six months, instead of four weeks, because this is an eclipse, so you get a little bit more oomph out of this one. Over the next six months, what would you like to see developed here in your career? You've got this new talent. You've got this new identity. You've got this new information you've been getting over here. Even just since the month has started, where are you going to take that, apply that, and use that to create something beautiful to maybe create the reality that you want to create, right? Gorgeous energy, so please take advantage of that. And if you haven't um, had an opportunity to look over that, see me, see Barbara, see Terrence, see somebody, talk about the lunar or and the solar eclipse energies in your chart. You want to know how to work with these. These are long-term energies, okay? Now, on the 22nd, we have the sun moving into the sign of Leo, which is into your 11th house. At the same time, on the 26th, we've got Mercury moving into uh, retrograde here in Leo as well. So remember, when Mercury retrogrades, this is our planet of communication, thinking, decision-making, details, things like that. So you don't want to be signing contracts, right? That is something you would like to avoid until the end of August, I say. It really comes out of retrograde on the 19th of August, but if you can wait till the end of August to sign any contracts, I think it's all the better because you let some of that shadow time get out of the way as well. It's always worked out well for me. But with this happening here, you may be re-looking at your friends, your social groups, um, any connections you have to your long-range goals, things like that could all come up on this agenda of reconsideration for you. Now, I will tell you this to my partnership sign my Venetian ruled friends is that Mercury and along with this Mars retrograde are infamous for ushering back in people from your past. Now, you've already got Venus and Virgo here in the 12th house. You could have a past lover coming into your life. You could get that random pop-up message, text, letter. You walk into them into the grocery store, whatever it is. It's like the universe is bringing back things from the past. Remember, we're in a retrograde. If this person just seems so delicious, take it slow. I'm not saying that the universe isn't bringing you guys back together. I'm not saying that at all. I don't know your chart, but what I am saying Thing is slow down. If it is meant to be or if it is something that you have the potential to put some foundation under, you don't want to wreck it in a, in a retrograde by moving too fast, right? 
but you just don't have all of the details right now and especially with Mars retrograde you don't want to hop in the sack too fast because really truly you could just tank it before it even gets off the ground okay now if you're single one of the things I think it could be asking you to adjust as well is are you in all of the same places if you would like to meet someone you've got to get somewhere different so wonderful energy for that okay now on the 27th we have this full moon total lunar eclipse at four degrees of air Aquarius so this is going to be a wonderful ending because remember this is still our full moon for the month so something needs to be ended acknowledged or adjusted and this will play out for about six months we've also got Mars being retrograde here now these guys are a changing kind of energy that are all happening in a very romantic creative expressive sector of your chart so the fact here is that I think you could actually find yourself being a little bit frustrated with trying to express yourself and I really think because Mars is such a sexual energy and because Aquarian energy can be very, be very sexual energy as well you could kind of feel like your libido or your mojo or your sex life it's like well where did that thing go you know what I mean like I don't even have any of that over here so if you're feeling like a little stuck in this area if you're feeling like you can't move something forward in a relationship or with a project give yourself some time to stop and look at what you might need to let go because I'm telling you for some Libras there will be a partnership that you will let go this month by the time we get to the end of this month this full moon you might be like I can't do it we need to just let this go let this end and that doesn't mean Libra that you need to run around and worry if everything in your life is going to fall out that is not what this energy means but it does mean for some of you this frustrating energy here is saying please let go of what the universe is trying to remove from you anyway stop trying to hold it together you know what I mean so you'll start to see some of these things I think fall fall away a little bit so it's definitely going to be an interesting month you've got a lot of decisions to make you've got a lot of re-looking at things to do so this is not the month where we are just trudging forward pushing new things out into the open there's a lot of clarity that comes with re-evaluation this month so please use it use it use it we're going to get back into direct energy in just no time and you want to have your game face on that strategy in hand because you've seen it for what it is and now you know the best path for Forward, okay all right guys like this video comment share subscribe I love you so much and I look forward to seeing you throughout the month all right bye